Hello, Let's Go family. We're starting a new series of interviews. And who could be the first one to do this with? <laughs> uh, then uh, uh, Bernard Killer, uh, who was here in 2018. And I was uh, lucky enough and privileged to take part in uh, the beautiful, and I can say it out loud, and I did it since then, even before doing the masterclass. But after, I continued saying that it's a life-changing experience. So uh, here we are again, 2021, and a lot of things changed. And still, we are now starting to promote an April, for the month of April, uh, online masterclass with Bernard Killer. So, um, what is it? Uh, what is it all about uh, this masterclass for those who don't know yet? Uh, what is it all about? Well, the masterclass is designed to teach you techniques and um, information for you to use your acting. How to become successful? I would like to teach people how to succeed with what they have. To find out a roadmap, a tool that will teach you how to get where you want to go. Because the problem is there's a lot of talented people, but they don't have a road. They don't really know how can you get to where you need to go. And I think that's one of, that's the really the focus of the class is teaching the latest acting techniques, teaching you how to succeed to become an international actors and and learning how to get rid of any blocks and fears that are stopping you. But can, because success, we, can success be trained? Sorry for interrupting. Well, no, no. The idea is that, <clears throat> well, success leaves clues. Is Apple Computer just lucky? They just threw some out there. They haven't been to an Apple store. Yeah. Success is, a, is something you need to learn. It's a language. Can you learn Romanian or is it just like some people get it, some people don't? <laughs> it's a it's different a, language, but you can learn it, yes. Right. And you know what? Success is a different language too, but you can learn it. And I feel that actors, especially artists, are never taught how to succeed. They're sort of giving, uh, given or trained to sing, dance, or act. But now, not how to deal with how do you get a job, what do you do, how do you deal with your problems, your tensions. Your, you know, listen, when you start an acting career, you start a business. And when you're starting a business, you have to fall in love with the product. And you are the product. So you're a product. Have you seen how they display Apple computer? Have you seen the website? It's not an accident. Every success leaves clues. And every successful person I know had a mentor, someone to teach them how to succeed. Because you can't succeed on your own. You need help. You need lots of help. That's the key of all successful people. They always ask for help. Because a mentor can take you to a place in yourself that you could never go by yourself. I can help you find a place in yourself that is where the gold is. Usually the part that you have never liked, the part of yourself that you don't like the way you look, this or that, or you don't like your nose, the part you don't like is the gold. Because I get a lot of help to help me to succeed. I always ask for help because I could not succeed. So my own. coaches also have coaches, so it's an endless... Uh, an endless well, do you do you have a football team in Romania? Yeah. Yes. Who's like your best uh, team? You know, it's a, I don't want to start the argument, but what? give me one team, <laughs> which is a good team. Period now for all teams, it's uh, very... You know, know what I'm saying, but I'm saying, but you know, a good team, give me a team, any team. That you have. I don't know, maybe Vitor of the future. The one that okay, no, 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 just this, I'm gonna keep it simple. So what's the name of the team? The Vitor. Team. Vitor. <laughs> and, and who's a player on that team? Do you know a player on the team? Yes, the son of Haji is a player there. Okay, yeah. now here's what I want to ask you. Now really get, now think about it, don't answer right away. You got a team, you got Haji, the son of Haji. Do they have coaches there? Yes. No, no, but but why would they need coaches? Do these people really don't know which way to throw the ball? There's the goal. You got to go in. I have no understanding why Ronaldo. Okay, so one of these play also has a coach. It's kind of because because it can only get better because you can never do it on your own. This, these are the world's greatest players. Why do you need a coach for? Over there's the goal. Go get it. No, because you always need a coach, and that's something that Europe doesn't know about. 
Yeah. From that's Hollywood. Fun. From Hollywood. Leonardo DiCaprio, every big star, Al Pacino, <clears throat> they all have a coach. Why? Because they want to get this much better. Could you, could you, Alex, uh, have learned to read if no one taught you? Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 I... don't get complicated. Could you have ever learned to read if no one taught you, just you and the book on its own? Let me help you. The answer is no. No, no don't get complicated. So no, you couldn't. Well, could you have read math or anything on your own? No kid, here's two year Get a four-year-old kid who doesn't speak or write. Give him a book. He can't read it. <clears throat> the most important thing are coaches. So the idea is that in Europe and the big stars, they all have a coach. Everybody knows it. And the big movie stars have a coach because they want to get better. But this is very important. This is important. They want to get better because they want to get better. It's just they want to be the best in the world. See, Ronaldo doesn't really need someone, but he thinks that if you could teach him one more thing, he could just be this much better. Because wanting to be great is something they want. They don't have a coach because they're terrible. Because you have a coach because you're brilliant. The brilliant people have coaches. The people who don't, you know, as I always say, successful people always have a coach. Average people, never. They never do. Because, they, because they're not thinking about that. Al Pacino just wants to be great. What? He doesn't need... He just wanted to be great. It's just something that people have. That's what I want. That's why I have a coach as well. But I'm not telling you to get a coach. If you're fine, it's fine. But we understand in Hollywood that if you would like to become the greatest actor in the world, then let me teach you the greatest technique. So this takes us to my next question. What is with Eastern Europeans that we have such a fear of success, maybe? Well, I think one of the things that has to, uh, well, I, it's hard to explain. It's the culture. It's the way you were born. But let me ask you a question. Uh, you have Romanian children. Uh, when they run to somewhere, do they try to lose the two-year-olds? Do they try to lose? Are they trying to like, oh, I, they go like, oh, listen, I'm too fat. I'm not going to run. Have you seen kids run in Romania? When you yeah. say go, they all run. Two years old, three years old, they all run. We were born to win. It's something that's in the culture that's teaching you not to win. And I'm saying that's wrong. I'm saying that if you would like to learn how to succeed and win, I will teach you. And that is wrong because Europe and other countries and my country, a million countries, what they teach you is always wrong. You have to realize that your job is to be successful in life. And successful means to be happy, to take your talent to, and see what, you're, what kind of an actor you could be. I know you're an actor now, but are you the actor you could be? Am I the teacher I could be? No, I'm not the teacher I could be. I could be more. But it's something that I wanted. I've always wanted that. I just wanted to be best for myself. So I'm saying that you have to realize that if you live according to society's rules, you're going to lose. Because society, which is what I wrote about my newsletter today, society wants you just to follow the rules and do all that. And real artists have to go, most people try to conform to society. But great artists make society conform to them. Did Steve Jobs change the world? Are we now using uh, the computer? <clears throat> He didn't say, he didn't change to the world and say, okay, because they had typewriters. Typewriters was very good. He made the world change. And I'm looking for actors who are ready to make the world change for them. Is this uh, masterclass exclusive for actors? <clears throat> no, it could be for anyone who has a desire to achieve any type of goal. It doesn't have to be actors. It has to be someone who has a passion and a hunger and they realize there's more to the world than what they have right now. So I work with business people. I work with anyone who has a desire to realize there's something better. And I believe that everyone is born with something unique. But unless you find the right coach and the right team, you will not succeed. But I, I like to meet hungry people because they have a passion. I want to meet some people who are completely unrealistic. If you're realistic, don't come because un unrealistic people achieve things in life. Unrealistic is like the light bulb. How do the lights work? Anybody know? Can you explain to me how electricity works? All the great things in life are unrealistic. 
and we're looking for more unrealistic people because they change the world. If you have this passion, this unrealistic passion and a great dream, call me, that's for you. How did uh, last year change this business? Last year changed his business <clears throat> because the, the year before that, that changed the business. Every year things change. Every year we're in a crisis, but crises are very good for us because that's when you be, be, discover who you really are. Crisis is when you be, when do people become heroes? When are there heroes in your, in your world and in your country? When there's a crisis, when there's a revolution and all of a sudden in the revolution, this guy stood up. Yes. Revolutions is when people come out of, come out and become who they could be. So this cry, of course, the entire business has changed, but that's okay, because we go and change with it. We're not saying this is a problem. No, we'll work out. They will always want movies. They will always need actors because human beings need to see other people's stories. It's something. It's not like oh, this is a nice thing. It's not like the typewriter. We've been telling stories for millions of thousands of years. I don't know. Since the beginning of time, we tell, tell stories. So things are more online, but things go back because people love movies and they will figure out a way. That's the one thing we can do is be creative. In some ways, I have a few people right now. There's a, a girl who I work with who's up for um, a Golden Globe tomorrow. Tomorrow's the Golden Globes. And her name is Shira Haas, and she's in a television show called Unorthodox. I don't know if you've seen that on Netflix. And this this girl, because of the pandemic, everybody was sitting at home and they were watching her. They would not have seen her. That was just a thing on TV and this exploded for her. And that's, it's sort of interesting saying, you know what? Go with the flow, figure it out. And we have so many wonderful, the Academy Awards are coming up. So many wonderful movies from around the world. Don't worry, we will figure it out. Things are changing, but things are always changing. What are the new opportunities that this pandemic has brought? If oh my are... God. <clears throat> the new opportunities is that I'm talking to you on Zoom. I'm having Zoom lessons. People are people are desperate. Opportunities are everywhere. Opportunities are wherever, wherever you look. There's 570 television stations around the world. And what do they need? Content. It's the best time ever in the history of the world to be an actor. They need things and all of a sudden people can do something. There's, you could do a movie with an iPhone. They got an iPhone. So what's the problem? You can't complain. Listen, Romania, you can't be complaining anymore. Get in the game because you're now international. There isn't Romania and Hollywood. We're together. I'm in Beverly Hills. You're in Bucharest? Where are you? Are you in Bucharest? So how is it that how is it we can talk to each other? It's crazy. I have an international classes where I have people like 50 people from like China, from all over the world. I think that uh, this has brought us all together because in the first time in the history of the world, everyone has a virus problem. It's not like Romania has a virus problem. We don't. There's problems sometimes in Africa and people don't seem to worry about it in other countries. But now, Everyone's in it and everyone is fighting and it's going to get better. It's getting better. You'll see in six months. It's going to get better. It's getting better here. And of course, once they get the vaccines and some countries don't have it, but it's going to get better. This too shall pass. It, the, the virus has not come to stay. It is coming and then it's going. And that's what we're doing. We're moving with the flow because if you don't change with it, you become the worst thing in Hollywood called irrelevant. If you don't go with what's changing, if you don't learn the latest techniques, and I figure that's the biggest problem about Europeans, is that they don't learn the latest acting techniques. My technique is based on wanting to find the truth of who you are and let me see your authenticity. Find out what's special about you. I don't, I, I don't like training. I mean, I have to constantly update myself. Can you imagine that they, you went to school and you learned history? And all they stopped is like 1980. After that, they don't know anything after that. What's history? History is being made today and tomorrow and tomorrow. And so acting training, singing training, dance training is always constantly revised. So this class will give you an opportunity to learn the latest film and acting technique, plus teach you how to succeed so you can stop suffering. 
Do you feel a difference between the live classes and uh, the online classes? Uh, honestly, of course there's a difference, but it's been crazy how these online classes, I thought online classes, how's that gonna work? They're so powerful. And in some ways I would say, it's more productive because look at you. You have to look at me all the time. You can't be talking to your friend next to you. You can't be looking at like, oh, I'm looking at Facebook. I would say they're more involved. They're like, everybody's here. We're all on camera. <laughs> everybody's on camera. It's been very powerful, emotional, transformational. It's like they're listening to me more than ever because in classes, you know, you can turn to the girl or whatever. There's no one to turn to. You're on, you're on and you're on camera, and the camera doesn't lie. And I'm saying that if you would like to become the actor you could be, then this class is for you. Um, what is the connection uh, between a successful life and a successful career? Right. I'm saying that a successful life gets a successful career. I'm teaching that the fact is that when, uh, only when you start loving the life you have will you have the life you want. I'm saying that when you have a successful life, you have a start having a successful career and you become a very good actor because acting is based on your life. If you're sitting there alone, unhappy, uh, depressed, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna bring? That's a very important thing. So I teach people that you need to be involved with a lot of great friends, with wonderful, positive relationships. Of course, don't you know, I'm sure there's been some performers or musicians or singers in your country who was very well known. And then something happened to them, a big divorce and their career, what, goes up or down? Goes, right, that's exactly right. I'm telling you that what I learned from my teacher long ago, I wish I knew it right away, the better and the more exciting life you have, the better career you have and the better life, the better everything you have, the better actor you are. That was crazy. I didn't know that because then you're learning like acting's over here and your life is over there. And then we discovered that it's all one. Your life and your acting is because you cannot bring me what you don't have. You need to have loving relationships. You need to be involved in life. Acting is in life. Acting is a representation of life, but you need to have, you need to know something to show something. You don't, don't hide behind acting, live your life. Because I have found oh, yeah. that the stars that I know are the great actors. When you meet them, they're so incredible people. They're so interesting. They have a life and there's not one actor I know that's just sitting alone at home. They have friends, they have girlfriends. Maybe they got 10 girlfriends. I don't know what they have, but they're not sitting at home. They're living life. Actors, I think it's the most courageous job in the world. Anybody, because we're all in show business. Business people, we're all in show business. We're on, you're on right now. And what are you doing right now? You're playing a part. All we do is play different parts, Shakespeare said, it's true. And so learning how to play that and, and trying to learn the latest techniques and the best, I think it's gonna be very powerful. It's gonna be powerful, fun, uh, inspirational. It's gonna push you. It's going to be what I've been doing, and because I like uh, our lovely uh, organizers so much, uh, and I like the Romanian people so much, that I said, okay, I'll do a class. It will definitely transform you. If you want to have a better life and a better career, then this class is for you. What are the main qualities that make a difference in 2021? Well, um, 2021, you know, you have to learn to realize that you have to more, you have to be more sensitive uh, than you were before. You have to have more uh, depth than you had before. I would say that things have changed and you have to learn how to change with it and also be part of the change. You also have to figure out, oh, you know what I'm, we're gonna do? We're gonna do this online. People are looking for content. And you know what's great about people? Is that the difference between a lion, which is a lot stronger than us, and a human being, is that when it rains, the lion sits down and goes, well, it's raining and they're just pouring. But the human being figured out, you know what? I always thought that the umbrella was an amazing thing. I mean, who came up with this umbrella? You put this thing up and it's not raining where you are. That's only human beings. We always figure something out. Otherwise, that line's still sitting there. 
we can come up with something. We're very creative. Creativity is our strength. And I'm saying what's great about 2021 is that you need to tap into and, and uh, use your creativity. We have a creativity, which is like this instinct. Your instincts are always right and your mind is always wrong. Get out of your mind, get out of your limitations because the mind doesn't think. You teach it how to think. It's not Google. When you think, let me think about it. You're not looking, it's not Google. How you think is what you do. You tell your mind to think. If you have positive thoughts in your mind, your mind is positive. If you have negative thoughts, it's negative. It's all about you. What's happening is to 2021 is everything is possible because that's what the future is. Have you seen that some, we just went to the moon, I'm not the moon, to Mars. Did you hear about the, to Mars? If we can get to Mars, you don't think uh, Romania can make a best picture? Nobody, they can't do a movie out there? What is your problem? Now, by the way, when people said, let's go to Mars, you know what everybody said? You're Forget crazy. about it. Yeah. No, no, they, it's impossible. That's a very important thing. If you were, if you spoke about, I want to get to Mars, to your family and friends, they would probably think you're crazy. But if you spoke to NASA, if you spoke to people who actually think of those things, they would say, well, how are you doing this? How are you going to go? That's why it's very important for you as an artist to be with other artists. So when you talk about acting or careers or business, everybody goes like, yeah, we have to have the same language. Most people are talking to strangers. If you're going to talk about football to people who hate football, then you look crazy. But if you talk to football who loves football, then that's the perfect thing. That's what's so great about the class. It gives people a home to find other people in Romania who also feel the same way. Because art is only going up. It's not disappearing. And there's no reason why Romania couldn't be the center of film acting. Couldn't be. But you need training. Germany was the center of film acting before Hollywood. Before that, we had Italy was the center. Then there was France. What happened to Romania? What's wrong with that? You really are great people and all you need is training. The right training and the right, and someone who said, you know what? We're gonna do something. Why not? And I'm saying, why not? Everything is possible now. People don't love themselves because those people who love themselves are willing to do things for themselves. And people who love themselves care about other people and care about the world. It's in the Bible. The Bible says, love your neighbor like yourself. So if, love your, so if I don't love myself, can I love my neighbor? No. Loving yourself is something that is crucial because when you love yourself, you love the power that created you. When you love yourself, you love the other person. When you don't love yourself, you don't love anybody. Because some people think like loving yourself, that's like selfish, egotistical. No, loving yourself is that you care. Because when you love yourself, you care about yourself, and then you can care about the world, the environment, your family, your friends, everybody. Everything starts with love, because it's always about love. Do you have any special guests prepared for the April Masterclasses? <laughs> well, we have a very special guest. We have the casting director for Star Wars and Star Trek. If anybody's heard those movies, it's a, it's a small little movies. Uh, her name is April Webster. She's probably the best casting director. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to audition for her, to do a scene for her. What do you want? <laughs> Miracles are happening. And because we have this beautiful, uh, you know, woman who has decided to put this thing together, has a very good school, uh, the, the acting school there. I, I just believe in her so much. And look what they've done. Everything starts from the beginning. Yes, we have a, so April Webster will be coming as our special guest. And uh, maybe other people. It all depends the quality of actors. In other words, I have no problem bringing producers, Oscar winning, everybody. But first show me something because we're in show business. See, if you're great, we don't really care what country you're from. No one's looking, let me tell you, no one's looking for one Romanian actor, no one. If you're great, we want you. And if you happen to be Romanian, oh, that's fine. But we're not looking for Romanian. We weren't looking for an Italian singer. We found Luciano Pavarotti. Oh, he happens to be Italian. But if he was from Zimbabwe, we wouldn't care about him? No. We're looking for talent, and talent is everywhere. Talent is great. 
And if we now I see greatness, I, I'll bring another agent. I mean, I'll speak to see what's happening, who's coming. I want the best people to come, the people who would make themselves proud, their country proud, their family proud, people who have a desire for a better life. That's my want. Great. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure and I can't wait to be a part of the... Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I can't wait to see you. And I thank you. And, and as I said, uh, Romania means a lot to me. And so I would like to help them. And then we're going to do some international classes where they can come live. So they'll see me. Great. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure as usual. Yes. yes. And they can go to my website to see what's going on. That, that's also very good to see what's happening and subscribe to the newsletter. Oh, see, it goes a newsletter. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we have, we've had 60 Academy Award winners coming, directors. I have huge careers in different countries. Uh, you know, it's exciting for me. I love it when people succeed. I love it because it gives my life meaning that says, look, there's a better life because when you're happy, you actually make everyone else happy too. We need more happy people. We got plenty of sad and depressed people, so don't worry. We're good on that side. Come on this side. Come join us. We're waiting for you.